we are definitely springing a few leaks yet. Can you see how deep that is? I feel like it's got closer as well, you know? How's it going everybody? Brought Poppy out in the lashing down rain today. You can see how wet it is because I brought an umbrella. I never normally do that. We got a Met Office warning, Amber warning for heavy, heavy rain all night. And I'm in the Lavu and Tap. This should be a fun one. I've even got the wellies on. We haven't got far today. I've picked a spot that's not very far to walk because of this rain. Everything is flooded out. Look at it. They haven't flooded too much. That's my camp down there. First spot was too flooded out, so we've come to another bit here. Look how much water's in that river. <laughs> and nobody can uh, use stepping stones to get across this easily. There's a nice little flat spot here anyway, so that'd be ideal for a tent tonight. It's a bit of a puddle. <laughs> oh dear. That's where my tent needs to go. And there's no inner on it. Hmm. Problems. Right, I actually got a bit of a dodgy situation now. I realized I've left the poles for my Labu at home. The reason I'd done that, I thought I was heading into a woods and I was going to chop down a couple of branches for it. Right. I'm just going to have to find a woodland nearby now and um, before it gets dark. Right, come on. Better get hustling, yeah? It's safety at last. Managed to find the tree branch. Whew. I did try the umbrella, but it was just too short it was. Ah, oh, there we go. There was a bit of a panic then. I was thinking we weren't going to have any shelter. Oof. <laughs> Look at them eyes in the background. She's happy, she's got a little blanket. So I've got the picnic blanket down, give us a bit of waterproofing. I got my cot to sleep on, which I'm a little bit worried about because it's going to raise me up higher. I only just fit in this as it is. What my plan was going to be to do was to make a sort of super shelter if I'd remembered the poles. Uh, so I would have had the Lavu either side, half a Lavu either side, and the tarp in the centre. Now, because I haven't got any trees to hang it off or poles, <laughs> I'm not going to bother. And it's absolutely chucking it down out there now, so. Well, this will be the test of the waterproof. I haven't slept in this yet, and this is the heaviest rain I've slept in for a long, long time. All right, we're just about sorted in here now. A little lantern. Poppy's down here. I just set my cart up in here. What an effort that was because it only just fits. So I set it up and I, I couldn't turn it into place. <laughs> so I had to take it all apart and put it back here. Ah, there we are then. Uh, got the old uh, Bergen today. It's gonna serve me well through the winter, I think that is. Yeah, I can feel the temperature warming up in here. 
because it's not uh, it's not hot, but you can see it's just got a t-shirt on. The river is raging outside, the rain is coming down. Let's take a little look out the door. So the water is probably about one foot below the tent. I think it's alright. <laughs> I got the cot anyway, so if it starts coming in the tent, it'll go underneath. <laughs> uh. So going now, I'm going to do some coffee. Look how target it is now. Thank you, heck. Let's see if I can put this light down. There we go. There's my bed. Poppy's going to sleep at the back, I think. It's quite a large space in here. Right, if you thought it was warm before, Poppy, just you wait. Proper coffee on the boil now. Lovely. Well, I tell you what, I'm regretting putting this on already. It is absolutely roasting in here. It must be this canvas material. It holds so much heat in there. Whew. I'm going to have to uh, get a little stick just to hold a vent open, I think. There we go. How's that for a vent? Titanium. All right, till I need it. See, I'm gonna have to go out and grab that stick. Oh, it means unbuttoning all this again. Oh, there's so much effort. Man. Nice little window, though. I like that. We've got a boil. Right. And what I've got to put in here? Something extra special. You are Colombian. Now we're talking boys. <laughs> oh, look at that. I wish there was smell of vision so you could check this out. Gorgeous. I got my plunger then to go in. We let that sit for a couple of minutes now. That'll be done. Shift window is working all right, but I am getting kind of wet now. The rain is blowing sideways through it. You hear it? It's supposed to get even heavier through the night, actually. Not too good, boys and girls. And that end there. Where my head is supposed to be going. It's sucking. Look at it. What I've done, I've tried to push the umbrella against it. Try and get it away from my head there. And the rucksack the other side. But I think it's coming through a little bit, isn't it? What's that there? A little blinking slug coming down there now. Ah, we don't want him. We are definitely springing a few leaks here, which is not good news. <sighs> I, s I have got the tarp, see, so I could chuck the tarp over the top of it. That might be what I'm going to have to do now. Decision made. I think these drips are just going to keep getting worse through the night. I'm going to have to go out now before it gets pitch black. It's pretty dark now. Get the tarp over the top. Oh. It's been ages mucking about with that. I'll have to show you better in the morning. Oh, God. What do you think of that dog? And she's got to come join me as well, isn't she? So she's soaking as well. Oh. Extra layer of protection now. I mean, 
I don't even know if it's going to stay on in the night or anything, you know? Bloody soak it. <laughs> Just like, what is wrong with you? Ah, oh, no. Look at that. Water's coming through there now. God. This is just one thing after another. Do you know the craziest thing? I haven't got a car. I got dropped off here. And I am miles and miles from home. I can't even abort this, you know? This is one of the maddest caps I've done, I know, to be honest. Like, this was supposed to be Poppy's bed. Look at that. Yeah, water's coming through the tent now. Oh dear. Right, I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. You can't sleep there, can you? I'm going to have to cut you my sleeping bag or something now. That's if it doesn't come up too high. I will be aborted. Okay, trying to take my mind off the, the creeping problem I've got and decide what tea I'm having. So we've got, never tried that before, sounds good. Mur Makani curry, and a peel of rice, or a pasta and sauce. I think it's gonna have to be the curry. I'm keeping my eye on this here, because look. You know, I've got an inch of water in the porch already. Dodgy man. Do you know what? This is starting to get a bit silly now. Look at it. I have literally got a river coming through my tent now. I'm seriously considering a boat in here. The problem is, right, I've got no signal, no car, it is chucking down with rain. What I'd have to do is um, a walk to the top of this hill until I get signal and then phone for help. <laughs> the dog said it good. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to have this curry now and see how I feel. I mean... If I can sleep in here without the water touching the bottom of my cot, I'll be alright. If that water level gets to my cot, I'm gone. Curry's looking nice anyway. <laughs> as long as the water doesn't put it out. I mean, this was all right earlier. Getting a bit damp. Will it put the stove out? Let me see bets. Right. The situation is definitely growing here. Yeah? Can you see how deep that is? Oh dear, dear, dear dog. And you look slightly concerned as well, don't you? There's my porch. Look at that. Oh, it worked. I literally just washed my pan in the porch. That's how deep it is now. <laughs> Right, water is starting to touch the bottom of my cot now. Uh, come out to check out the, the situation. There's a lot of water coming through that tent now. It's my tap. The river is raging. I feel like it's got closer as well, you know? Um, 
and it, I picked this spot because I know it can't come past this big wall we've got here. I am in a bit of a hollow, so that's why uh, all the water's collected there. Um, I don't know. It is concerning, isn't it? Look at it. I should have pitched up on high ground, but as I say, hindsight is a wonderful thing. I think I might call it, mind. I don't know if you can see the depth of it there. It's just getting ridiculous, man. I'm gonna have to call this one, guys. Close the saw down. My tent is leaking. The water is now touching the bottom of the cot. So, uh, it's just getting dangerous, you know what I mean? You can't sleep on water like that, man. Plus, I got Poppy with me. You know, I can't put her on the ground because everything's soaking. But then you've got the toss up, then. You've got to leave this shelter to go and try and find some mobile signal. Now, I know I'll find it, but how far up that hill, I don't know. We're going to be in the rain for probably an hour. Still am in an hour now. I think it's gonna have to be done. I'm gonna have to go, I think. I really don't want to, but that's the way it is. Half the water coming in my tent. Right, so the plan is now I'm just gonna grab this tarp, stuff it in, and the Lavu all on the top of the rucksack. This river is rising. We're going to take the trek up the hill then, see if we can get some signal for help. We're evacuated now, just to show you. This is where my tent was. Yeah, not good, not good. Oh, come on dog, let's get out here. Jesus. So just a little trickle earlier. been saved. I've had to walk for about 20 minutes up this hill. Do you know this trip has just been a series of mistakes. Could have ended a lot worse than it did. But really I should have been camping in a place with signal to begin with. Just by the road now, waiting for a lift. Thought it's a good time just to go through what went wrong on that trip. So you've got to admit when you're wrong, I've sort of I'm an hour in about coming out all day because I saw the weather. So I was packing a little bit and I was thinking, mm, I can't be bothered. So that's why I made mistakes. I forgot to put a few things in there. Next, I shouldn't have put it so close to that river. The ground was completely dry. But when there's a lot of rain coming, the river could obviously rise. And that's what was happening. And the other one is to make sure you've got a means of escape. I didn't have my car with me, so... I think my next mistake, I was right to get out of camp, but my ne next mistake was trying to go really far away to get signal, because anything could have happened on that walk up. I think I was right to bring this umbrella, because that's helped a lot, and the wellies. I would have been absolutely soaking by now. And we got a little shelter now sitting by here. And I think I was right to evacuate, because that could have ended a lot worse. So. You gotta know when you beat. That is the final line. And with that, come back next week and I'll hopefully spend the whole night out. <laughs> we'll see.